My name is Rebecca Lennon and I currently teach second grade. Talking drawings has become a very popular strategy in my classroom um, as my students have found that they can relate to the processes that they use and, um, and we use it in all content areas. As a classroom teacher, I find it very beneficial to find out what students know and what they don't know about a topic before I teach it. Tapping into their prior knowledge allows me to tailor my instruction to best meet their needs. And I'm often surprised by what they already know and by the misconceptions that they hold. Drawing in an elementary classroom is a great way to see what students already know about a topic as well as to make them feel comfortable. I've also found that students feel comfortable when they're drawing and that they're free to share more openly. If students produce a limited drawing, I often probe with questions to gain more details that they may be aware of. I also like to integrate technology into my lessons where applicable. And I particularly like using EduCreations because of its ease and valuable use. EduCreations is a kid-friendly app that provides an excellent way to record student teeth thinking. I use it across all subjects. If you notice, there are different colors across the top. Students may choose their color by basically touching it. There's also an eraser for those mistakes that we may make. As they click on the color, they then move their finger or their mouse to draw um, whatever it is that they see in their mind when a word is given to them. Um, EduCreations also allows you to record your voice so that students can explain aloud as they are drawing. This also becomes a very powerful tool when sharing with others. In this particular example that I have created to represent what my students did, we were beginning a unit about the states of matter, and I wanted to know what my students already knew so I could create a unit that would meet them where they were and then move them forward. I wrote the word matter on the board and I asked them to use educre educreations.com to show what they knew about that word. I then walked around and I observed what they were recording. Here you will see a before reading drawing um, when a student saw the word matter on the board. Once students have drawn their initial drawing, they save it to their iPad and then they leave it on their desk. We then do a gallery walk where the class walks around and observes others' drawings, comparing their thoughts to the thoughts of others. We then gather and we discuss what we saw. This leads into the reading passage on this topic. So I chose a passage that was grade level appropriate, but also brought in the content I was looking for. I always have students read the passage individually and I require that they jot down their thoughts as they read. They often highlight and mark important information as well. And I also encourage the students to keep their initial drawing nearby to reference it as they read. As the teacher, I constantly move about the room probing with questions to see what students are learning from their text. Are they noticing changes that they should make? Are they confirming their initial thoughts? And once students have had time to read and record their thoughts about their reading, they then revisit their drawings and create a new drawing that reflects their new learning. And this can be seen in the after reading example. It was interesting in this particular activity to see the amount of information that was retained after reading compared to the misconception from before reading. I require my students to use lots of details in their second drawing to demonstrate all of their new learning. They also save this picture and then we complete another gallery walk, but this time taking notes about what we've learned and how our classmates have shared that new learning through our drawings. Our final discussion is where we highlight our new learning and we discuss how the reading changed our drawings. I usually choose a couple students to share their initial drawing their reading passage with the notes written on it, and then their final drawing. This is a great way to illustrate how reading helps us learn new information that can change our thoughts about something. It is also a great reflective activity. So talking drawings has become an integral part of student reflection in my classroom. When students look back and realize how much they've learned, their confidence grows. 
The gallery walks were added in to help create a sense of community and sharing different points of view on a common topic. So try out talking drawings in your class and be amazed at how reading can really change your students' world.